All right, let's try and get a win. Uh, I think I'm on like 43 LP. I'd like to get back to Diamond 2 in the next few days. I am playing quite a lot on my main account. Like, after I finish streaming, I'm playing like three or four games in the evening just for myself. And that is actually... The funny thing is, when I'm streaming, I usually lose. When I'm playing for myself, like, that's where I'm actually usually winning. Which is actually the kind of funny thing. Ooh, that was really close. Wait. Glacian Augment Organa. And yeah, that dude got a bag of gold. Wow. Rip. Bum, bum. Yeah, boring doesn't equals if they're good or bad. Like, again, everybody has their personal biases. I think the auto-attacking champions, like Masty and Trindamir, are the most boring thing in the world. Well, they're still bad, but that was... Okay, that's a bad example. Uh, Soraka, she's really boring, but she's quite good. So there you go. Like, it, it's all... Um, Depends as you as a person. Wait, is this leg here a peg leg? It is. What the hell? He's got a peg leg. Boom. I'm actually surprised that they haven't done a knockoff skin of the Hulkbuster with this man. Wait, she used heal? Did she accidentally use heal? Yeah, she must have accidentally used heal. Wow. That's bad. Uh, she's pushing. No, please. Wait, what? See, the hitbox of Scion Q is a little bit deceptive because it's a little bit more than the Q, like, box itself. Um, but, yeah. Ugh. Need level two. Yay. Even farm. Uh, what's my goal this lane? Probably just do okay. Don't let her have a lead. Rip. You know, the funny thing is, remember Trisada just wasted heal? Obviously, that means that they didn't have a heal for that trade. That could make a difference. Ooh, good kill. Maybe. Ooh, she still had flash. This uh, Aurelia seems quite good. That killed me? Okay, I literally wasn't expecting that to kill me. If I thought that was going to kill me, I would have flashed. And I just didn't think it was going to kill me at all. Wow. I get surprised by the Aurelia, like, a lot, man. I just, I don't know. Really didn't expect that to kill me. 100% I would have flashed if I did, obviously. Holy moly. Interesting. Ooh, she's going that old, okay. Yeah, Cyan is quite bad versus Aurelia. Obviously, I had a blind pick. Like I said in Champions League, the top lane is my least favorite role to blind pick because there's so much differences in top lane, it's unreal. Um, oh, gosh, she can just tank everything. Um, but yeah, like her Q, uh, if you don't know the new Aurelia... The new Q goes behind targets, and as a sign, if I'm holding my Q down and she Qs to me, she'll 100% dodge it if I don't time it 100% correctly. God, and I'm ridiculously slow. Oh, this is a bad matchup. Gonna have to just try and survive as much as we can. Wow. Her damage is ridiculously high. I know I got when the Doran's Ring first, which some people say that's obviously like a... It's not a disrespect, but it's like a, a luxury in top lane of like, you know, a lot of the time you can't get away with it. But, damn. Crazy. I guess I'm 
I don't know. One, I'm underestimating her damage, but I'm probably underestimating Conqueror too. Okay. Uh, I, I'm watching a little bit of MSI. I'm going to be honest, I'm not that into it. I really don't care that much about it, and I don't know why. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, I've already got it disabled. Screw having quick shot and shocks as the casters. That doesn't sound good to me. Wait, what? That minion that was right in front of the E didn't get hit. Interesting. Say hello. Yeah, so the rest of the map's doing alright. I'm just going to basically just not get Aurelia ridiculously ahead. Uh, the Doran's Ring start, it's kind of greedy. Like, again, I would have survived probably, like, well, I would have survived if I thought I was going to die. Like, again, it, it's pretty much that. It was, game, it was a game knowledge mistake, not mechanical mistake. It was I didn't think she would do a crazy amount of damage. And it did more than I thought. That slow may have just saved my life. Pretty sure that slow did save my life. She's getting a little bit cocky in my opinion. Like she keeps dashing into tower and stuff. Oh, that did no damage. Gotta push when she's not here. She doesn't have ult, so her roam wouldn't be that good, but still, I don't like not. Wow, how's he getting? She might be doing blue. I, d I doubt it, but you never know. Okay. When Sejuani used that jump and it wasn't there straight away, I was like, oh. Nah, she went back. Okay, cool. Gonna go banner, I think. This will eventually turn into a bammies, but I just want to get some resistances first. Okay, how's the game going in general? Uh, bot lane's doing really well. Uh, mid lane's actually doing fantastic versus the Zed. Oh god, it's just probably well. Gragas seems to have farm advantage, but Sedge has two of the kills, both kills actually, and then top lane's obviously a bit of a difference. So yeah, I don't know. That's fine. Again, when you're blind picking top lane, a lot of the time you're not picking to carry. You're picking just to, like, do okay. Nice. wonder if he's going to go AP, Gregus. I'd actually be interested to know. Also, I do actually think me and uh, Sedge could kill Aurelia. Two tanks, like, surviving a while is actually surprising. Okay, she's mid. I wonder if they'll swap Zed to me. I wonder. Because a Zed that's doing bad in lane is basically going to be useless. Like, 100% useless. Hey! That's what we like to see. Yeah, they are. Thought so. Interesting. So this Zed isn't very confident at all. Push fast? What? How? How can I push fast? Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. Said if a Zed loses lane, he's really not going to do much later. All they need to do, basically, to demoralize the enemy team with this trade, kill Aurelia in the mid lane. And then you basically kind of go, it doesn't matter who you've got mid, we'll still kill them. That's the best thing you can do when these type of trades happen. 
fair. Kragus is either going mid or top, mid. And she's dead. So literally, like I said, the biggest demoralization thing you can do is that they do one of these type of swaps and it doesn't do anything. The Velkos is still killing. So it just was a worthless trade. And it re trust me, it really demoralizes people. Yeah, damn. Whoa. Wow, I was actually not expecting that amount of aggression, but again, uh, I shouldn't be surprised by it. It's a Zed that's done bad in lane, so he's going to get very frustrated if he doesn't get ahead. Because again, a Zed that doesn't get ahead in lane phase is going to struggle a lot later on. Let's just teleport on that just to be annoying. Still going to go Banner, even though I'm against like auto attackers, I think. Because I think it's still going to be annoying. Let's get rid of the control ward that we know is in here. Why flash? Because I might have been dead. Don't want to risk anything. Again, like I said to you guys, the worst thing that can happen when these type of trades happen. One is that like <clears throat> for the enemy team who swaps is that they continue still dying. But obviously, a thing that the enemy team is looking for is to get kills with this trade. That's why they did it. So if I give a Zed a kill, that like kind of makes it really viable and like worth their while of why they did it. I don't want even the risk. So it, it's literally all I've got to do to win this lane now is survive. Full stop. Done. Finito. And now I'm not even going to be laning against them. Close. Yeah, he is going AP. I think that's a mistake with how his team's doing. They're not ahead. They don't have a tank. He's going full AP. That's just, to me, a little bit of a recipe for disaster. Like, everyone will just get one shot. Like, Trist is just going to crit and kill everything. But we'll see. Uh, I will say, uh, just as a random tidbit, if no, if people haven't seen the, the clip with Ryan Reynolds on a Korean singing show, go go fix that, man. It's hilarious. It's so good. So Zed is just following me. Okay. Bam. I'm hoping they're going to be okay. I trust them. Or maybe I don't. No, I don't. I don't know how they muck that up. Tristana was like alone. How are they mucking it up so bad? There's a two for one. Nearly a two for two. Velcro still has ult. Okay, Velkos gets two. Ooh, he did get her and she actually did flash. But he also dies. Oh my god. Wow, she, he got him. I won. I, this, I probably just walked through a ward, didn't I? Hello? Yeah, I saw. Eh, it's probably all warded. Probably wasn't even worth me running up there because, like, Zed stayed bot lane. But I'm just kind of thinking, like, if I was just bot lane the whole time, it's kind of like, oh, Cyan doesn't even want to try and help. So at least my team see me actually wanting to help. But it, it wasn't worth running. I actually lost out more than I gained. Hey, that was the, that was the opposite thing of what I was wanting, man. I was trying to help. They just keep dying now. I don't know what happened. The bot lane was doing so well. But then the Thresh has now died four times. The Triss has died two times. 
So they're just kind of feeding. Shut down. Nice. Don't know where the Zed is, but I guess he's just going to keep laning against me. Zed is really having a bad game. What a boring Scion game for me. Just like, died once to Aurelia, they lane swapped. And now all I've got to do is focus on survival and I probably win. Fun. Uh, hmm. I guess I'll use my uh, thingy here because we're grouping maybe. Go, my cannon. Okay, we were gonna group, but never mind. <laughs> ah! Hey, Gragas. Still, going full AP to me is ridiculously stupid with their comp, man. Okay. I was just really wanting them not to die. Mm, bunk. Wham. Are they going to put a readier back against me now? I wonder. Maybe. She can't kill me. Multiple people can, though. Okay. Yeah, all we gotta do to win this game, I think, is group. Because he's, like, useless anyway, and then on top of that, grouping also isn't good for him. And then in good grouper, good grouper, not bad grouper. Obviously, Morgana's really good, but... Eh. Yeah, I think this sign is supposed to be a Decepticon, if I'm not mistaken. Like, that was the general idea behind it, which I think is really cool. Shame my banner isn't up. But again, the again, one of the other things that you've got to think about, like, as a win, is having Aurelia versus me instead of her versus my team is actually a win for us. And again, her using ult for me instead. All i got to do is use ult and survive. That's pretty much it. Look at what my team are doing. I'm keeping Aurelia, who's arguably their strongest person. If all I do is focus on survival, it's a positive. So, yeah, but I like, look at their base. It kind of seems like the Aurelia has stopped caring. Hell yeah, that's what you get. Finally, killer. Let's use a banner on that dude just for now. Again, you have to understand that obviously cannon minions are obviously the best ones to banner, but ranged minions do a hell of a lot of damage still. So don't underestimate giving it to them. Because like, if you can't wait, it's like, oh god, I really need a cannon minion, but we're pushing a tower. Yeah, just use it. Wow, he killed the whole wave instantly. Uh, yeah, just use it. No! Hey, I, I literally blocked with that Velkoz. Oh. I don't need... Oh, I didn't even get it. I got one assist. Du, 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 du. Ah, whack him! Boom! Hey, I got an assist that time. Alright, that's fine. Odd. What an odd game. Oh. Again, it's the type of game, like, again, when you're blind picking top lane, these are the type of games that, like, you're actually pretty happy with. Because you're blind picking, you can't pick something that's going to, like, directly win. But you're picking something that is, in a weird way, going to be more useful than the Aurelia, hopefully. Or at least, like, make her less useful. And that's basically all that you need. Which is, yeah. Ideal.
Wait, what the hell's the morgue doing? She just walks straight into them. They can do that without us, I think. Yeah, some people are making the point that obviously his team's full AD, but I, uh, I'd still not do it. I think survival is more than important than damage. I, well, in higher rating anyway. In lower rating, maybe damage is more important, but in higher rating, yeah. So that the fact that the, the Gragas most likely won't really do anything because he's too squishy is yeah, kind of pointless. Wow, look at the damage. Cowabunga, dude. Cancel it, cancel it ASAP, so then um, it comes back on cooldown. My team want to do Baron, so I'm just going to play bait. Me and Velcors are blocking. It's down here. That was a Sejuani ult. Oh wait, Aurelia? Didn't even look at Aurelia there. She is properly given up. Interesting. Wonder why? I guess it is a bit demoralizing when you're doing well, but it doesn't really matter. Because again, their comp just isn't very good. If they had a front line, maybe they could make it work. Ah, the stun. Glacial almost iron? I don't like it. He doesn't need it. Whoa, the cannon. Are you serious? Well. Wow. Okay, she's just avoiding me now. She's going top lane when I'm bot. What the? Why? She doesn't like me or something. God, he's proper full AP. Ah, uh, so stupid. I just like, I got a fifth of his health off with one E. Oh, that was a bit ambitious. Banner of command and thingy it. Ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. Wait, what that missed? Look at it. Like, this thing is doing work in the back line, I'm telling you now. The Zed is trying to assassinate people, but he's too weak. Just got one shot. Oh, they they actually chase the Zed. Cool. <coughs> no, no, no. Get off him. Back off. Two in hips. Two in hips. I'll focus on the inhib with me, my, me and my cannon. Wait, we got him. God, the surge out damages the full AP. Wait, what happened? My dude's still doing his thing. <laughs> Good cannon. We'll call him Jimmy and we'll love him forever. Wow, that was weird.
Yeah, the swaps didn't really work out for them. Because as I said, he well, if the what the Aurelia is saying, it's probably the Zed getting frustrated. Um, damn, I went for it. I like Top Gear, ambitious but rubbish. Wow, they use a lot. Cowbunga, dude! No, they grag us with me and everything. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, they they grag assaulted my ghost. I wasn't expecting that. I w <laughs> uh, okay. Wow, feels bad, man. Uh, all right. We can either go mid or we can just go top and like break their base that way. It's my favorite old Top Gear episode. Oh my god. It's it's one of the travel ones, right? That they buy like a terrible car and they've got to do stuff. Like the Africa one with Oliver was amazing. Like a lot of, god, a lot of them are. And I know like a lot of them were 100% scripted and stuff, but it was still good. I think that's what the magic of the new show kind of has lost. Is that old Top Gear was scripted just as much as the new Amazon show. But the new Amazon show is so obviously scripted. Where I think the old one wasn't as obvious. So I think that's one of the biggest differences. I think Trist was busy with somebody in the back line. Wait, we lost? Felcos didn't even use ult. Get him, Thresh. Damn, if Thresh got that E. Damn, if Thresh got that E, Ezra would have died. I think Velkos mucked that fight up a little bit. Uh, I don't think... You should have been right with me in the front. Like, the, the thing that happened is the Velkos just followed me, like, 100%. Velkos shouldn't be with me. He should be a little bit back. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I don't think that was great positioning by him. He should have just been a little bit that way. I think that would have been okay. But, yeah. And then he's moaning when, again, he was the one that came with me as the mid laner. It's like... Why are you following me in? Yeah, literally, the the same. Don't you know Frontline Velkos? It's like, why are you with me? He shouldn't have come the whole way in, basically. Just a little bit. But I think the best thing we should do is go for top lane when the inhibs. I don't think we should be charging into their base, I guess. I'm worried that these guys... Oh, they're looking for a pick. That's why they're all grouped and huddled together. Isn't that warded? There's a lot of wards. Uh, can we even go try get Baron or we just go top? Which one do you guys... I guess Baron is free. As long as it doesn't get smite stolen... It's relatively free. Yeah, taking that's good. Ta! I got it! Oh, I never like to see that. I got it with W. <laughs> uh, hey, this is good timing. Big cannon, minion. Jimmy's back, baby! So Sed used ult, by the way, and Gragas used ult. Okay, both of the inhibs are coming back. Ow. Don't think the enemy team can do much here. Ooh, nice Q. Wait, he ulted me. Yeah, screw that Zed. Ha ha ha! 
I don't know if that was the best thing to do, but it was like free. It's me and this dude again. Oh, we need the inhib. Oh, I still got Jimmy. Jimmy's back. Back again. Alright, get him out of the way. I don't know if we can end, man. Nah, we can't end. I don't know, maybe we could have. Wait, Jimmy's getting in a hit. See you later. Goodbye. What a play. They're not letting us end, which is kind of annoying. Okay. But the annoying, the, like, why we, the reason why we can't end is because it's only me and Thresh that are alive at the end of the fight. It's like, uh, yeah, we're not really the pushing force to end the game. But that was a pretty good play. I got the inhibitor, but then survived. Now all we gotta do is go bot lane. Like it's hundred percent a win. This game's free. Let's use that there. Yeah, that guy's Tommy. Tommy will wreck him. Nah, that was hundred percent not an end. Like if it to end that, the inhib would need to be basically like a hundred health to make Cyan passive worth it. It's too easy to kill in CC. That would have been a very bad thing to try and go for. Like, potentially game throwing. Wait, why? Use it on someone else. Why has he got Knight's Vow on me? By history, the Zed's behind us. Yeah, there's the Zed. He's actually popped thingy. Wait, my... Oh, I got stunned. I was wondering what happened. You're dead, sir. <laughs> ah, I'm just ending. Screw it. <sighs> There we won. We did it. Woo. All right, cool. Uh, we weren't that useful in the early, but we were very useful in the late game. So that's pretty cool. Ugh, we basically showed up. We were like sleeping in the early game and then eventually we we're kind of like, ah, mod in and then we killed everything. Well done, Sudge. I think she deserves it. She played well. I swear you complete one of these after every single game you play now. Or maybe that's the point, but I, I don't know. It's ridiculous. Ah. Right. Went 746, 221 farm. We got an A plus. Damn. Set S minus on Vel, S on Sedge, and then damage done. Doing, ah, eh, not bad. We're a full tank, remember? Full tank Scion, just a little bit behind, like, their Zed and stuff. But yeah, Velkos, star of the show. Ezra doing well, Aurelia doing well. Obviously, yeah, the Zed has a pretty bad game. He went full AP. So yeah, pretty good game overall. I was happy about that one. But um, again, I hate blind picking top lane because it always makes you kind of feel you're at a disadvantage. But definitely the early death that I had put me in that disadvantage. But yeah, still pretty good.